Software as a Service, otherwise known as SaaS, is a product type offered in AWS Marketplace that allows sellers to manage applications in their own infrastructure, but leverage all the benefits of unified billing and the AWS payment platform. The steps required to integrate with Marketplace depend on your product's pricing model. In this video, we will be covering SaaS subscription, SaaS contracts, and SaaS contracts with consumption. For each one, we will introduce the requirements for verifying valid subscriptions, monitoring for subscription changes, and sending metered records, if applicable. For information about each requirement, visit the documentation links included in the video description. Up until this point, you should have selected a pricing model, submitted a product via the Marketplace Management Portal, and received confirmation that it has been published to Limited. If you need more information about these steps, see the links in the description. Once your product page has been published to Limited, the AWS Marketplace Operations team will send you an email with your product code. SNS topic and customer facing product page URL. You will need these before you can start to integrate. Before getting started, there are some things to consider. First, you need to call the Marketplace APIs from the AWS account that is registered as a Marketplace seller. If your SaaS application is hosted in a different AWS account, then use cross-account IAM roles with permissions to call the Marketplace APIs. Second, consider common subscription scenarios up front, regardless of the pricing model selected. This includes new subscribers, existing subscribers, upgrades, and cancellations. This is important to think about in the beginning so that you design an integration that can handle different customer use cases. We will cover these in more detail throughout the video. Let's first start with SaaS subscriptions. Once a customer completes their Marketplace subscription to your product, they will be prompted to set up an account which will redirect them to your SaaS fulfillment URL. The customer's browser sends a POST request to this URL, which contains this parameter. With the token, call Resolve Customer in the Marketplace Metering Service to return the product code and the customer identifier, which represents an AWS customer. The customer identifier should be stored so that you can make future API calls on behalf of that customer. At this point, the customer should see your landing page and be given the option to either register and create a new account, or log in to an existing one. The customer is now ready to begin using your application. Now, let's move into monitoring subscription changes. When your product is published to Limited, you will receive an email which includes an SNS topic. The topic provides notifications about changes to customer subscription and entitlement statuses, which enable you to know when to provide and revoke access for specific customers. For SaaS subscription, here is what the topic looks like, where 12345 represents the product code. We recommend setting up an AWS SQS queue that subscribes to the SNS topic. Note, the initial setup of this queue and subscription to the topic needs to be by an IAM user with administrator access. As a SaaS subscription provider, you must handle four different messages. One, subscribe success, which is sent when a subscription is valid. Two, subscribe fail, which is sent when a subscription is not valid. Three, unsubscribe pending which indicates that you have one hour to send final metering records, and four, unsubscribe success. Finally, we move into sending metered records. In order to bill a customer for usage, you will look at the batch meter usage operation in the Marketplace Metering Service. Here is what a sample request looks like. And here is what a sample response looks like if the records were processed successfully. 
If records are not processed by Marketplace, they will show up in the Unprocessed Records section, and you will need to resend them. Now let's move into the SaaS contract pricing model. Verifying customers for this product offering is similar to SaaS subscription, but with one extra step. You will still obtain a token as a parameter in a post request and need to exchange it for the customer identifier and product code. Additionally, you will need to verify which dimension a customer is subscribed to and the quantity requested, if applicable. To do this, call Get Entitlement with the customer identifier in the filter object and product code. The response returns the dimension a customer is subscribed to, the quantity, and expiration date. Onboard the customer or let them sign into an existing account, and so they can begin using the application. Next, we focus on monitoring SaaS contract subscription changes. Similar to SaaS subscription, you will need to subscribe to the product's SNS topic. Once set up, you can expect to receive only one message type, Entitlement Updated. This message is published any time there is a change to the customer's subscription. Scenarios include new subscriptions, renewals, upgrades, and expirations. After receiving this message, you will need to call Get Entitlement to obtain the customer's current entitlement. If no entitlement is returned, it indicates a customer's subscription is no longer active. At this point, you will need to determine how best to handle the customer experience and deactivation of services. The most likely scenario in this event is that a customer's contract did not renew. Customers cannot cancel a contract after 48 hours. Finally, let's move into the SaaS contract with consumption pricing model. Integration for these products combines all the concepts from SaaS contract and SaaS subscription. As outlined in other models, you will need to exchange the token for a customer ID and product code. Verify the customer has an active subscription and grant access based on the entitlement. To monitor for changes, you will receive two SNS topics and receive all the message types published for SaaS subscription and contract. Sending metering records for additional usage is similar to SaaS subscription. You will use the batch meter usage operation in the Marketplace Metering Service to send metered records. Once you have finished the integration, notify the AWS Marketplace Operations team. They will verify that you have called the correct APIs and successfully sent metered records where applicable. They will also perform end-to-end -end customer testing to ensure new customers can subscribe to your product and create an account within the application. Throughout this video, we covered how to integrate your SaaS application with AWS Marketplace. The integration effort is dependent on your pricing model, SaaS subscription, SaaS contract, or SaaS contracts with consumption. For each model, we covered how to verify customers, monitor for subscription changes, and send metered records when applicable. Additional details and documentation can be found in the AWS Marketplace Seller Guide, linked within the description of this video. If you have additional questions regarding the content we've covered, feel free to contact us within the AWS Marketplace Management Portal. On behalf of the AWS Marketplace team, thank you for taking the time to watch this video.